the factors determining the elasticity of demand. Just make sure you know the six factors and you're able to discuss them in short, just like one point on each. There are substitutes, that's goods that can replace each other. The uniqueness, for example, if it's unique, like Levi jeans, it is a name brand. Obviously, this is not something similar, so we're really going to replace it for you if you're going for brands. Habit forming, like smoking or drinking or exercising, uh, things that you, you don't easily give up. Urgency, meaning you need something now, immediately, like, um, for example, you need to put in petrol in your car now. Um, a time period, whether it's a year, month, a week. Necessity or luxury, meaning do I need it right now, I cannot live without it. Or is it a luxury, meaning I can extend the purchase of the product. So substitutes, they go through it a little bit more in detail. So you can just choose one point from there, uniqueness and habit forming. So substitutes, the major influence on price elasticity of demand is the availability of clothes substitute. If a clothes substitute is available at a similar price, elasticity tends to be elastic. This means that if the price is raised slightly, consumers would switch to buy the alternative product. Uniqueness, the more unique a product, the less elastic the demand will be. Habit forming, the demand for habit forming product is inelastic because if you are used to smoking, for example, and even if the syntax goes up, you will still buy the cigarettes, except now during lockdown, when you're not allowed to buy cigarettes. But like I say earlier on, people will still buy it on the black market, where they will maybe used to pay 18 rand a packet of cigarettes, they will pay now 120 rand a packet of cigarettes. Okay, urgency. If it is possible to postpone the purchase of the good, for example, buying a dishwasher, the demand will be elastic. Time period. The demand tends to be elastic in the long run and more inelastic over short periods. This is because it takes consumers a while to adjust to price changes. And you will see it now happening in this time as well with COVID-19 going around. If um, inflation increases, and which already happened in some cases, um, you know, it's going to get, it takes a lot of time to get used to the new prices and to actually um, have the money to pay for the, the increase in the prices. Necessity or luxury, demand will tend to stay much the same for staple products such as bread and milk. Even if the price increases a little bit on milk or bread, we will still buy it because most of Africans use it. Luxury goods tend to have an elastic demand, meaning it can change. As your income changes, you can buy more or you can buy less.